Good morning everyone from Jeff's Little Engine Service. We're going to do another repair today without a workbench. We're going to do this one from the flower patch. And I know all you workbench guys are going to love that. What we have here is a Briggs & Stratton flathead engine. It's a 12 and a half horsepower, power built, cast iron cylinder, or cast iron sleeve and there's the model number I don't know if you can read it it's 2AV707 1170E1 and I pulled this off of a riding lawnmower and let me show you what I found a few cobwebs we need to take care of that sort of thing so unfortunately the engine is completely locked up on this and when we did the infamous oil check, this is what we found. No oil. So that's never a good thing. That's about the only thing that can take these engines out. They're pretty tough. So let's see if we can uh, break this engine free. And if not, we're going to open it up and see what's on the inside. All from the flower patch. So let's put this engine on its side here Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good I think I hear something rattling around in there well anyways what I was going to do to see if I could break this engine free I think that's wishful thinking after hearing that stuff rattling around in there I'm just gonna put on a pulley and I had out in the backyard. Get some vice grips on here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay, looks like we're gonna get into this engine. Let's get ready for a wild ride, folks. So, the best way to see what's going on in this engine is to actually actually take off this whole sump cover here. Uh, you're going to get some oil that comes out when you do that, so be careful. And I'll lube up the shaft a little bit, make it easier to come out. All right, let's see what we're going to find. See if this thing will work for me. Oh dang, need a bigger wrench. Boy, these bolts are pretty stiff. All right, I wonder if that's loose enough for my Weak ass little drill to work now. Yep. Boy, the socket's getting warm. Look at that bolt. What the heck's going on there? Surprised we were able to get that thing out of there. So I think that's all of them. Now's the time for your rubber mallet. Oh, it's already coming loose. Great. Sometimes you have to beat on these for a while to get them to come loose. This one's ready. Maybe.
not too hard. You can break this. You can see the oil coming out there. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn this thing like this. Oh yeah, I hear stuff rattling around in there. At least I think I do. Yeah. <clears throat> I keep thinking I'm missing a bolt. But I've got them all out. This thing is probably just all bound up on the inside. All the parts broken up and whatnot. Whew. Sometimes you do have to get a little mad to get these things done. Yeah, just hitting it a little bit harder. There we go. Here's the big reveal, folks. Wow, that is one dirty sump cover. Definitely see some metal down in there. We have metal everywhere. All right, so let's see if we can figure out exactly what let loose in here. So this is our governor and they're expect inspecting the teeth on it here. They actually look good and this little component's working. Looks like the governor's good. Alright, let's see if we can get this cam out of here. There we go. It just pulls out as you can see. Yeah. So see all those See all those marks on the cam lobes? That is not good. So I won't use this cam again because it's been hammered on, as you can see, by all the marks on the lobes. These lobes should be glass smooth with no marks on them. Still haven't found the uh, exact component that broke loose. Check that out. That's a whole pile of metal. And this is your timing gear, which just slides right off. Doesn't look like uh, it really took any damage. And these are your tappets or your lifters whatever you want to call them you can see they've taken a beating where they've uh, where it meshes with the cam pull this other one out here yeah that side's not as bad looks like the exhaust side got a little more worn Still haven't found what let loose. Oh, geez. Yeah, we did. Yikes. That rod broke. See it up in there? Busted. Yeah, you can see the uh, the broken rod there. And unfortunately, where the, ride, where the rod rides on the crankshaft here, I can actually feel grooves in it. That's not good. That's also supposed to be glossy smooth on there. No marks. So I think this crank is probably, uh, this crankshaft is probably ruined too. 
Not sure if I'll be able to clean that up. Yeah, wow, unfortunately this engine's toast. So I think I need to turn this engine, uh, I need to drain the rest of the oil out of it and take the flywheel off so I can get this crank out of here. Well, this engine is definitely in sad shape. <clears throat> but uh, we're into it now. So let's continue disassembling this thing. It's a quarter inch socket. To take off the starter cover. You also have a quarter inch. You, you also have a bolt back here. Holds on your dipstick tube. And this is a 3 8 socket take the rest of the cover off here and you have two back here it's only four bolts that hold these covers on voila and this is what it looks like under there got your coil magneto and your flywheel damn torques it's like that big bolt there is what holds the flywheel on You know, this gets me every time. I always have to make two trips to the toolbox at least because these damn things are metric. Why'd you do this, Briggs? Why did you do this? So normally I would use my impact uh, air drill to get this off, but I have a little tip for you. Tech tip number 656,424. Get yourself the right size socket, which in this case it looks like it's a 24. Get your wrench on there. And get yourself a big hammer. Give her some sharp wax. There we go. See how that works, folks. Tell them you learned it from Jeff's little engine service. I imagine I'm going to have to have some sort of uh, puller to get this flywheel off of here. Yeah, it looks like it even has a, uh, a sheared flywheel key from when it locked up. I'll spray a little bit of uh, lubricant in here to try and help with the removal. Yeah, I think I have to take this off too. So that comes off. And then I believe this just lifts off. Yeah. And then this is where you'll set up your puller. I'm going to help myself out a little bit here by looping things up. So I'm going to try a little trick. This is tech tip number 82,111. Let's see if we can remove this flywheel the old school way without uh, using a puller. So basically you just want to find something to wedge under the flywheel and wedge up a little bit on it. Be careful not to break anything, especially the case. And apply a little bit of pressure. Sometimes you gotta try and get lucky. You do, do you feel lucky? 
punk. Yeah, that's how it's done, son. No puller necessary. And uh, hopefully I didn't damage anything. No, I didn't. Oh, you can see though, I left a little mark where I had the pry bar, but that's no big deal. Looks like all our magnets are still intact here. Our flywheel's in pretty good shape. Dirty, but it's in good shape. You can see half of the uh, you can see half of the flywheel key stayed in there, and the other half stayed on the shaft. All right, looks like this crank is already starting to fall out of here. As well as what was the rod. There we go. That's how it's done, folks. Yikes. That is wasted. Like I say, that's supposed to be really smooth there, and it's just all gouged up. Whoa! Don't go anywhere. <clears throat> okay. See if we can pull this piston out of here now. This piston might be wedged. Oh no, it's coming. Wow, maybe the cylinder is not uh, damaged. Usually the piston gets locked in place. Nope. Oh yeah, it's damaged. Here's, <laughs> that's a piece of the piston ring there. I'm surprised I'm able to get this thing to budge at all. There we go. Oh boy, man, that's a big piston. Clean it up here so we can see what we got. Piston's actually not in too bad a shape. Do have a few scour marks there, but I think those can be sanded. Yeah, not too bad. The rod, however, is done. Our governor shaft mechanism here is still good. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. And me. You know how I hate getting dirty. Oh boy.